Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, let's talk about expansion tile and list view. This is my expansion tile app. So I think we've all seen this before. We have a list of things. You click or you press on it and it opens up further. Okay. And you can open up even more. So we just open up animals and it's dogs, cats, and birds. And since there's many types of dogs, you click on that and you get the Carton de Tolier, um, German Shepherd and Poodle. But notice cats and birds, you don't get to click on those. Okay? Because there's only one type of cat and there's only one type of bird, right? But there's multiple types of dogs. And we do the same thing down with cars, nothing additional, and phones. There's a Google, the Samsung, and OnePlus. There's a lots of different OnePluses. Uh, there's like uh, 12 different types of OnePlus phones. So at least according to this app, right? So that is our app. So what do we need? When we look at this entire appearance, this is going to be the list view. So the, the list of these objects across it with these lines. I don't think you can really see a line in between there, but there, are, I think there is a line actually um, in between there and it's in this uh, form itself. And when you click on it, it opens up just like that. So what is this called? This is basically called the list view. The expansion, expansion tile is when you can open it up like that. Notice this doesn't have an expansion tile. This is a list tile, list view, list tile, expansion tile that lets you go up and down right there. Okay. So those are going to be the main things we're going to learn in this video. So what do you have to do ahead of time? Well, we have to create a list, right? A list of everything. What are we going to do? We've done this before class, my tile, our properties are going to be title and which is a string and a list. Why a list? Remember you click on animals. It has children or the properties of dog, cats, and birds, but dogs have additional children beneath them as well, right? So we could say ch the child of the animal is the dog, the poodle and the cat, but then the another child of the dogs would be Carton de Tolaire, German Shepherd and Poodle. Okay, so we might have multiple children down below. So we'll probably have to not have to want to use a list to describe the children of these original whatever you got in the list, right? So we'll just call it children list my tile children my tile because it's all going to be of type my tile but it may list have multiple char um, characters multiple um, uh, members of that list then we'll go ahead and use the constructor this dot title this dot children notice it's going to be optional why optional same thing we clicked here this will have ch additional children this will not so we'll have to make this optional. And one of these might have been like cars might not have been any other option or any other children underneath there. And so we're going to actually have to instantiate it right now. And why remember, if you just said this dot children, that would equal null, and you can't add things to a null set or list, you have to instantiate it with an empty list. It's const right here. If you delete that, Flutter framework will help you out. Must be constant. Okay. Then we're going to create our list. And so we basically just start from the very beginning. Okay. So the main characters here are going to be animal, cars, and phones. So animals, cars, and phones. And then we're going to have children. So animals, the children are going to be dogs, cats, birds, dogs, cats, birds, Notice the children, which is a list, right? We said that up here. The children of dogs, the children of animals is right here, right? The children of dogs is right here. And cats and birds don't have children. So if you can see the, the syntax of that dogs, comma, there is optional parameter here, right here for the children, which is blank. So we don't include that. Okay. So I hope that's pretty clear as we go down the list, and then we're gonna have a whole list of new things right inside here. So what do we do? This is going to be a stateless widget. It doesn't matter the previous state. We'll talk about that in just a second here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and 
widget build. I'm going to put stuff in tiles. What's this stuff in tiles? This stuff in tiles is going to be... This information right inside here. That's just... I just made that up. Where Where is that going to be? Um, uh, where did I put that? Right here. Okay, so that's the call. This is going to be the information right inside here. And widget build, it's going to be stateless because it's not going to really have a memory yet. It has a little bit of memory though, doesn't it? So if we open this up, we open this up, we close it. Well, I'm, let me go over that in just a second, okay? Stuff in tiles. And then here, override widget build, and it's going to return this build tiles. So notice we've separated this thing out. Build tiles, we're going to put it right down here. I could have just put everything up here, but for sake of simplicity, I'll put it right here. And then it's going to be, this widget is going to say my tile T. I labeled this T to differentiate it from this my tile right here, right here. But when you think about it, this gets introduced here, which intro gets introduced here. It's the really the same variable, right? So when you build it, if T, my tile, this thing right here, these characters, um, if t.children is empty, then return a list tile, okay? Because what if we, uh, okay, let's just leave it at that. What, what if we did a new title? So what if we did new text instead? It would look like this, right? So it would look like this. So this is text, but we don't want text. We want a list tile. All right. There we go. Um, oh, by the way, I just learned this actually. You can actually do this. If it's a one line, you don't need the brackets. If it's one thing beneath the return, you don't actually need the brackets. Actually, I don't think I knew that before, but I guess I know that now. Um, otherwise, it's going to return expansion tile, new expansion tile. Remember, um, expansion tile has these things right inside here. If we returned an expansion tile right here, what's going to happen? Even though there's nothing to click down, there's going to be this potential expansion right here. Okay, that's why we have it a list tile to make it look a little bit better. All right, so expansion tile, title, new text is t.title. So from the my tile, dot title, and the children is going to be t.children.map. Okay, so it's going to be the, the, the map it out, of course, to list and build tiles. So it's gonna be the children of the T in and of itself down inside of here. So if it's animals, then it's gonna have the dogs and it's gonna get the children inserted into the map of build tiles, which is right here. And it's gonna put two lists. So I hope that's pretty straightforward. What's page storage key? Page storage key, okay. Let's open this up. Open this up. Open that up. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There we go. Open the dogs up. Open the cars up. Open the phones up. Open the OnePlus up, okay. So if we look here, dogs, Caton de Tolaire, German Shepherd Poodle. You scroll up and it makes it go away, right? So it disappears. Oh, there you go. Well, and then we bring it all the way back down and it's still already open, right? So notice that dogs is open in the open position, not in the closed position. All right. So what happens if I comment this out? I open it up, open it up. Open, keep going, and keep going down the line, all right? So 
Dogs is open. Animals is open. I scroll way up. Notice it goes away from the screen and I bring it back down. It's closed. Okay, let's do that again. Open it up. I scroll up. It's out of sight and it goes out of mind. I bring it back down and it's closed again. Why is that? Well, what's happening is there's no memory here. It doesn't actually remember what state existed here, so it should keep it open. So that's where we need the page storage key. But wait a minute. Um, I thought this is stateless right here. Well, it is stateless, but you can have stateful widgets within a stateless widget. Right? So as long as you establish what the state is in the very beginning, so you establish that, you can insert children, the, the stateful widgets, inside the stateless widgets. We've done that before in the very first um, uh, mobile app that we created. So that this is one way without creating a whole new widget it stores that particular information in memory. So if I put that inside there, did I run this again? I don't remember. So I open it, open, open. It's hard to navigate with the mouse. It's out of vision. It keeps the memory that it was open again, all right? We can access this, informa this information in the future. We can use it with um, build context, but at the same time, that's for another video. I don't really know how to use it at this point in time, but that's how we actually use it. Now, the question is, what is page storage key? What is this? This could be absolutely anything, this information right here. You, I think you just have to remember it for the future. So this could be um, int three. So that'll still work. Well, you're going to have to... Yeah, okay, let's just do this one more time. Okay, this is rather tedious. I'm sorry. Um, so we're going to scroll way up, scroll way up, scroll, scroll down. So it still has that memory here. So that still actually works. You just have to remember what characteristics you have in order to access that in the future. All right? So... That's it with the stuff we put in the tiles. We're still not done. Now we're going to go back to the original tile app. Extends a stateless widget. It's the vision in and of itself, the whole thing. Material app, app bar, new center right here. Body.listview builder. So it's going to list view and it's going to build things. And we've used this, these types of builders before. So the item builder would be build context. Int index. Okay, what is this particular int? What this int does, okay, well, first of all, return new stuff in tiles and the list of tiles, stuff in tiles right inside here, and list of tiles, stuff in tiles, and the list, and the index. What this index, this seems more like a formality. What happens is it gets this. It starts from zero and counts all the way up to the index in and of itself. All right. And what you say by item count, list of tiles dot length, I think what happens is th this length gets inserted in here. So it goes from zero. And as it builds, it goes from zero all the way to list of tiles dot length, puts it inside of here, goes to zero to all the way to the very end itself all right and that's how you build it because i don't think it builds without this properly yeah so you do get an error all right so it makes it again nice and easy when you have these builders that whoops when you have these builders that automatically build this these whole structures you need the list you need to get the um, widget or the class for the properties my tile and you have to set it up correctly. But once you actually build it, it seems pretty straightforward. Okay? So I hope that was clear. This, I, you just have to remember it. I don't see any 
you can't, in my opinion, just reason, oh, in this one, we're going to have to have this file and this file. This is just something that we have to remember. And we can always put different, like if you click down here, we could put different widgets, but we have to have different children inside of here, which would be another optional parameter. So you can have some additional features inside of this as you want to. But I, I think it's pretty easy to imagine how you could just add new um, properties, new widgets into these classes, and we can expand the mobile applications as we want to. All right. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you.